Okay, so in this video, guys, we're going to talk about Tesla stock and why I'm not selling my Tesla stock just yet. So, guys, I want to just keep this video short to give you guys a little bit of insight on where Tesla stock is trading. So, obviously, we all know that Tesla stock hit a thousand over a thousand dollars a share, and it looks like we're at a bit of resistance at around, I would say, about a one thousand and perhaps about $1,040 or something like that. So as you guys can see, the, the stock price has dipped down a bit and maybe you're wondering, should I sell or not? Well, I'm gonna give you guys a reason why I'm not selling. So it hasn't really hit one of my key indicators on when to buy and sell a stock like Tesla. So this strategy only really works in my opinion, it works best with like bigger companies. If this is a penny stock or something like that, a small cap stock, micro cap, it doesn't work as well. But for larger, more established companies, I think this is a really good strategy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply add a simple indicator, and that's called a moving average. So what is a moving average? Well, a moving average is basically a sum of all of the trading days in a period divided by the number of days. So as you guys can see here, uh, I'm using tradingview.com and all I have to do is simply go to moving average and I hit this in. So as I click that in and then I want to adjust this number. So right here the chart is nine days, but I prefer to use a 20 day moving average because that is basically one month, right? You get five trading days a week times four weeks. That's about 20. That's 20 trading days in one month, you know, because we don't trade on the weekends. So as you can see here, I'll just switch this line to here, let you guys take a look at that. So what does this mean? Well, as you can see here, this is a, wait, let me, sorry, I have to change the day to 20. Okay, so as you guys can see here, this is the 20 day moving average. So what does this mean? So as I said before, this is basically the average price over the last basically month, uh, 20 trading days or basically the last month. So as you can see here, Tesla is a stock that has basically been trading very, very in strong correlation with this moving average. So when Tesla stock crossed below the 20 day moving average, the stock went down a lot. And then when it crossed back up above its moving average, the stock went on to rally. So as you can see here, the stock has been very closely uh, trading on its moving average, but it isn't really quite hit it yet. So it kind of bounced off here on May 1st, and then it, it, you know, it bounced off again on May 28th. So now we're up here. So the, currently the moving average is around $858, and we're at $972. So I like to use the 20-day moving average is basically where I would basically put my stop loss order. So a good strategy that I've been doing with Tesla is that I would just put the stop loss order right, uh, you know, near where the move the 20 day moving average is so we're nowhere near the, uh, the 20 day moving average there's a lot of room here and tesla stock is actually bounced back up a lot of stocks have recovered after that huge sell-off that we recently had um on thursday so uh for me i'm not selling my shares yet so when i see the tesla stock when i see it getting close to that 20 day moving average if i see it cross below or something like that then I'll think about selling my shares, but I still think Tesla is going to be a $3,000 stock in the future. And I think it would be a mistake to kind of sell now and hope that the price drops because, um, you know, this next quarter is really important. Uh, if Tesla is profitable in this quarter, that'd be four quarters in a row and they could receive inclusion in the S&P 500. So uh, Elon Musk has a really ridiculous big incentives package. And that's one of the reasons why um, he's tried so hard to just deliver results for shareholders because he has a massive, I believe it's a $55 billion incentive package, if, if that's right. Um, so he's, you know, basically he's pushing, you know, to get paid. Um, this is one of the reasons why, you know, NBA and the NBA and NFL, they use incentive packages to push athlete performance. Um, you know, incentives really work, guys. So, uh, you know, I would think that Tesla stock definitely, um, has a lot more room to run. And like I said, when it crosses over that 20 day moving average, I'll be definitely looking to sell it. But right now I'm going to hold on to it guys. So uh, that's it, that's my that's my kind of simple strategy. Remember, you can't really use this strategy for smaller stocks. This work, usually works with more established companies because penny stocks are 
can trade absolutely crazy and there's so many different catalysts so that's it for now guys hope you enjoyed this video on tesla if you enjoyed this content please hit that thumbs up button to give it a like if you enjoyed this content and smash that red subscribe button to receive more videos on tesla full disclosure i'm a tesla shareholder and i post videos about them all the time so be sure to stay tuned for more information so that's it until next time guys take care